Hey everybody, Ian here at NAB 2014. We stepped over into the Sony booth and we have here a brand new PVM A250. This is an OLED monitor. It replaces the previous uh, OLEDs. There's a couple of things that you're gonna notice right out of the box about this monitor. First and foremost, there's a handle up here. I love the handle, it's awesome. These things are a fraction of the weight they used to be. Uh, you can tell by the profile here, I mean, it's about half, if not a quarter of what the profile used to be. And the other thing that's interesting you're going to notice is I have a bunch of information up here that you probably have never seen before. This is a new feature, and I've asked Gary to come in and explain this to us. Gary, can you tell us what we have up here? Well, what we've done is this is a new version of software that we're introducing for um, the A250 and the A170. Uh, it's going to be available in July as a free download. So anybody who already owns a monitor is going to get all these features that we've added to this. This one is, a, in particular, is something we think is very unique, is we're taking metadata from the camera and the lens and we're displaying it on the screen. So you can have up to uh, three rows of information up here, of basically any parameter uh, that's available out of the camera. It's all assignable. Uh, you can make it anything you want. So it, this is going to make it much easier for your shot listings, for uh, VFX, for anything. But it's not the only thing we've done. We kind of really jumped into this thing, and Japan did some really cool stuff. Uh, the PVMs now will do 2K display. We can now do um, uh, the white mode that we had in the BVM-E. We can do the blending mode for green screen work. Um, we can do a side-by-side -side display. Uh, we've added a grid for VFX works for measuring out the screen. Um, we have added five user presets into the monitor now, so you can configure it like you did with the BVM. Uh, Dual Link now is on the monitor. Uh, anamorphic display, so if you're doing two to one or one three three, you can now display that correctly on the monitor. And I mean, there's a boatload of more things that they put into it. So, in addition to having a lighter, slimmer profile, great with the handle, uh, OLED, the, you know, the performance, the look that we've come to expect from these types of monitors for professional viewing. Uh, and now with our firmware update in July, uh, it just keeps getting better. We actually have these now in our showrooms in the New York and the Los Angeles uh, locations. Please stop by and check these out. Behind me right here is a new monitor, a 4K OLED. We don't have a delivery date, we don't have pricing yet, but it kind of whets your appetite for things to come. Um, can you give us a little rundown, Gary, on some of the specs here? Yeah, what this is is a 10-bit uh, panel. Uh, it's a 4096 by 2160. Uh, something special about this is it's designed to handle uh, BTU, uh, the ITU uh, BT2020 color gamut instead of a P3 or uh, uh, a uh, 709 gamut. Um, in the final version, we'll be able to do those. We'll scale it down. But the big thing is that the, the range of this now is so big that we'll be able to really make a 2020 picture out of it. Um, this is a, a similar panel to what we showed last year uh, on the development. And now we're getting closer to having a product. So the plan right now is this year we'll have it as a real product. OK, so subtype this year, you'll be seeing this in our showrooms. This is the OLED 4K from Sony. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.